What's going on everybody? It's Ricky with Video Homicide back with day 22 of the 31 Days of Horror 2022 edition, the second round. Uh, today we're going to cover one of uh, my stepdad's favorite films. Now, the reason this video didn't come out directly on October 22nd is because October 22nd marked the 13 years since his, uh, since his death. And I had like my family over and, and, you know, we had food and all that kind of stuff. And it was just sort of like a close knit circle. Didn't really feel like making a video, but I knew I was going to make a video about this movie. And that is uh, 1977's The Car, directed by Elliot Silverstein. Now, when I think about Richie, uh, you know, a few movies do come to mind. The Car, The Thing, basically anything with Steven Seagal, uh, you know, anything martial arts but the car is one of those ones that he put on maybe that's where i developed this thing where i like watch the same movie like over and over and over for like a week uh you know not like directly staring at it but i mean when i go to sleep a lot of times like i'll just push the same movie back in like last week it was the mummy with brennan fraser i love that fucking movie but this is a movie that he would do that to all the time same with the thing and uh basically this film the car is all about this uh, demonic car. I believe it's a 1971 Lincoln. Um, I had it pulled up here. So it was a 1971 Lincoln Continental Mark III, and it was heavily customized by uh, George Barris, who apparently was a heavy duty car customizer back then. Really fucking awesome stuff, man. I love the, I think the look of this car is so fantastic. It lo it almost looks like a demon. You know what I mean? It looks like a demo it looks like a car that the devil would drive. So I think that's really awesome. Uh, you know, I'm sure everyone's knows the story of this. I just want to touch on a few of my favorite moments of the film. Like it's been so long since I watched it that it was almost like not rewatching it for the first time, but definitely being reminded of some pretty awesome scenes. Obviously the beginning scene with those kids on the bikes, um, the sound that this fucking car makes, like the horn is like, bam, 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 bam. it's so freaky sounding and like kind of comes out of nowhere. The one scene uh, other than like a lot of like the, the chasing, the action and stuff. I, and I love the scene where fucking James, is it James or Jeff? James Brolin goes up to the car and like the door opens. Like there's no fucking door handles on this car. It's just like a very, uh, it almost looks like a, like a toy. Like it doesn't look real. But he goes to open the door and the door like fucking swings him open, knocks his ass out. And then later on when he's in the garage, that's the scene that I always think about where he's like, he's, you know, James Brolin's in his garage, the car's in his garage and, and fucking keeps getting close like like almost slamming into him he's trying to fucking do something with a screwdriver uh, yeah i really do like this movie and and it does you know it's it's important to me that you know the the dead relatives of my like especially richie man like i got his tat his name on me and shit like this is the type of stuff that he loved and i fucking love too and i never want to forget that this kind of reminds me of the goonies this skull looks like copper bones but uh you know, watching movies like The Car, the Rambo films, The Thing, and like a fucking zillion of those cheap dollar fifty movies from Walmart when they were doing that, all those kung fu flicks and shit, like that stuff is ingrained in my DNA because of Richie. And I owe a lot to the guy for, you know, sort of molding my interests in terms of cinema. So a lot of Western type stuff, a lot of martial arts type stuff, and some horror stuff pe peppered in. Of course, movies like Strapped, belly uh new jack city menace society like all those like hood movies and stuff like god damn there was one i think it was called little red i think it might have been a jamaican film but i've been looking for that for a while i gotta see if i can find that on youtube um and of course like shatas which is a fucking amazing like jamaican exploitation film i did a video about that you know a, a while ago definitely check that out if you if you're so inclined but uh yeah fun fucking movie i actually watched this like my brother and his girlfriend and my girlfriend weren't here yet so it was just me my mom and my dad and we like we because my mom and my dad like they're still like friends and stuff which is awesome for me but uh you know we put this on and just like the sound of that horn like i, I honestly hadn't heard that noise in so fucking long that when i heard it I, it was almost like hearing like uh like richie you know what i mean and it's no bullshit last night i dreamt about that motherfucker which is crazy it happens to me like maybe a few times a year but it's weird that on like the, the anniversary of his death, like, you know, I fucking have a dream about the guy. And like, you know, we watched the car and stuff. And um, yeah, man, I think that this movie 
is uh, not underrated, but like you don't hear a lot of people talking about the car. I mean, maybe at one point you did, but now it's just sort of like, you know, one of those films, like I'm trying to think of another standalone flick from the seventies, like, you know, I don't want to say death wish. Cause I think death wish is a little more um, popular than this film. If you want to use the word popular, like a fucking little 19 year or a little 13 year old girl. But uh, this movie definitely is, it's not forgotten, but it needs to be way more out in the open. Like this, like, why didn't we talk about movies like The Car when I was in film school? Like, we were so fucking, they were so obsessed with talking about just trash. I was insulted when I went to film school, basically. You know, because there's like all these great movies like The Car, The Exorcist, fucking Death Wish. Uh, basically everything I mentioned in this video, The Warriors, like, you know, like they considered as like schlock and tight. Like, it's like, no, just because some fucking hipster douchebag with fucking little leather shoes with no socks and a fucking handlebar mustache says that this film is no good or this film is really good. That don't mean shit, man, because it's all about what you think, what I think. I love this film. You might hate it, whatever. I fucking hated Halloween Ends. Danny B didn't mind it. And that doesn't mean I'm going to be like, yo, fuck Danny B, you know, uh, it's... But this movie, I think everyone should fucking like, to be honest with you. It's good. Uh, killer car film. I'm pretty sure that, like, I didn't even really know about Christine, but I knew about the car. And when people, I remember, I might have been, fuck, I don't, it might have been early high school or something like that. But I remember somebody talking about, yeah, that movie with the killer car. And I'm like, yeah, the car. And they're like, no, fucking Christine or whatever. And I was like, no, I, what the fuck? Like, and that's when I thought, like, I, like, was the only person in the world that, like, gave a fuck about movies. So I was like, no, like, I think I know. And he was like, no, man, there's a movie with the car. It's a red car. And I'm like, what? And I seen it. And I'm like, yeah, it's all right. I don't mind the Christine. But I, I'd way rather watch this fucking movie in terms of a killer car flick. So, yeah, rest in peace, Richie. Man, one of his favorite flicks. Glad to have watched it. Uh, you know, had a, had a few drinks, had a few tokes, a couple of laughs. You know, uh, it, it's rough, you know, when someone passes, that's like very monumental in your life. Like it's, it's hard to really get over it. So I'll never get over it. I know my brother will never get over it. And like my mom won't, but, uh, we can still listen to his favorite music, watch his movies and stuff like that. And with that, you can kind of connect back and, uh, relive some of those memories, you know? And like I said, like having that dream last night was really fucking trippy. So, uh, yeah, 1977 is the car. Thanks for watching. This episode is dedicated to the memory of uh, Richie. So, I think he would have been like 50-something. Fuck, I don't even know. 69 to 09, 40 years old he died. But, uh, you know, at least it was a, uh, you know, whatever. Anyways, audio 666 in the comments.